Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by and seeing what I have to say today. Um, so basically if you uh, got information from the title, I have a whole big box of empty products that I've been uh, accumulating since my last video of empty products, which I will make sure to link below and above. Um, and basically my whole process is, is I'm trying to use um, up all of my products. That sounds pretty simple, right? Um, not for somebody who has a problem with accumulating a lot of products. And how I do so is I am um, subscribed to subscription boxes and so I get a lot of product all the time and I'm always constantly just buying new things and that's something that I need to work on. Um, but I'm also working on trying to go through these things as well. So if that sounds uh, like fun to you, then make sure you keep on watching. All right, and for those of you who may not know me, my name is Catherine, I'm a full-time mental health therapist and I'm a full-time beauty collector uh, as well and a reseller. Um, so that's what to, you should expect from my channel. Anyways, we'll get started because I have a whole big box in front of me. I'll be doing like speed reviews too. Um, maybe I didn't have any thoughts on it, I don't know. Uh, the first one is CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Um, this was perfect. I just used it in my shower as my facial, um, my face wash for a long time, actually. This was, I had this for a very long time and I felt like it did a really good job of, um, as like the second part of a double cleanse, if that makes sense. So the first part, getting all of, a lot of the makeup off, um, which actually we'll just go right into that product um so this is um the inculus oat cleansing balm this is perfect for removing majority of uh the makeup you know your eye makeup your lip makeup all that kind of jazz and getting a lot of the product off and then that CeraVe would kind of be that double cleanse to get everything else that this left this i really much enjoyed um this is I already have a backup one of this one and um, I like because a lot of cleansing bombs and you'll see um, a few more in here they have like the you like have to scoop them out I like how this was in a a tube it was much easier to deal with than like having to close the bottle when like your hands are filled with goop um, so this I've, I've really liked and it's super affordable this is like $10 that's for I don't I don't like this probably is like the least expensive thing that Sephora has. Really liked this. Um, another thing that I'm just glad to be done with is this, it's gross too. Um, this Aveda, this was a, the conditioner, the clove conditioner. And it was basically, it means it's supposed to enhance brown and honey tones. Um, so it is like a brown conditioner I also have uh, the shampoo I don't know if the shampoo is in here um, but it is supposed to help I mean you can tell my hair is very very dark it's supposed to help like keep that color without you know your roots or anything fading I have had this forever um, it makes a mess of your shower like brown goop everywhere hard to clean off um, did it really help I think a little bit but not for me to spend however much it is for Aveda products um, to repurchase. Another hair product that I have repurchased multiple times is these Christophe Robin, that's the French side, no, it's on the same side, Cleansing Volumizing Paste. Um, so this is kind of in place of shampoo. It is really great because it's kind of gritty to get in there um, and like clean your scalp and clean all the gunk off of the 10 layers of dry shampoo that I usually put in it um, and it it doesn't look like it will lather at first but give it like a few seconds and a little bit of water and actually creates a really nice lather and it's great for volumizing and I have super fine hair um, hairstylists say that it's like medium I feel like it's a lot more fine um, at least it's way down I just feel like I got lots of lots of weight on it um, so I need all the volumizing that I can get and I've purchased this a few times um, before, and actually I just saw something on Reach Loves uh, about, um, it's from Goop, um, and it's like a similar product, but it has like rosemary extract in it, which I love rosemary, so I probably will pick that one up to try it. Um, not necessarily 
um, beauty related in the sense that we're normally talking about, but this is from um, Bloom Nutrition. This is greens and superfoods um, in, the, in the coconut flavor. This is perfect for um, um, getting rid of bloat. It has probiotics, fights bloat, adaptogens, organic green superfoods, it boosts your natural energy and strengthens immunity. Um, so you just mix this in with water, it actually tastes really good. And I did notice that it did help with bloating. Speaking of dry shampoo, we have a few of them in here that I can see. I'm sure we'll have more too. Um, the first one is IGK First Class. This is their Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. This is their deepest level of cleaning. And let me tell you, I always need the deepest level. Really enjoyed this. I think I purchased this one off of a BoxyCharm sale for like super cheap, or maybe it came in one of my BoxyCharms, I'm not sure. Um, but you can find this cheaper. If not, you can get it at Sephora. This other one I actually got in an influencer box quite some time ago. This is a Garnier Fructis um, Invisible Dry Shampoo. Spoiler, it's not invisible. Um, this is the, excuse me, the Beach Tonic flavor. It smells beachy. Um, it has rice and starch and biotin and no silicones and I'm gonna sneeze. Going back to the dry shampoo after I sneeze. Um, it is pretty inexpensive but I don't think it's worth it. I would probably choose something else over it. Um, now we have the Milk Hydro Makeup uh, uh, Group Set and Refresh Spray. This I really did enjoy. I actually really enjoy the Milk Hydro um, products in general. I'm currently using the primer in um, my current Shop by Stash, which I can link down below. Which again, if you liked this makeup look, I was trying to go for a very bronzy vibe because the video that I just filmed before this was actually going over my whole bronzing collection bronzing whole bronzer and contour collection um so i kind of wanted to match that vibe and again this is um from an eyeshadow palette in my shop shop my stash so i'll make sure to link both videos down below um so you can see um here is the milk vegan moisturizer this i really enjoyed um Hold on. Um, I did notice that I feel like my skin is changing. I don't know if it's the weather here. I do live in um, in uh, Arizona. I don't know if it's the weather, like the increased humidity or what. Um, but I feel like my skin is getting a lot more oily. And so that moisturizer used to like it really soaked up into my skin pretty quickly because I had a drier type of skin. Um, but I feel like now, maybe it's because I was just using a lot of it. I don't know. Um, but it was, it, it didn't sink into my skin as much. Um, another little cleanser um, was this Milk Melt Vegan Oat Milk Cleanser. Um, this is by Bybee. Bybee, right there. Got this at Target. Actually, this one was more expensive than uh, the Inky List one. This one. And it's, a, it's the same. This one has 0.1 more fluid ounces than the other one, but I want to say this was more expensive. Um, I don't know. You'd have to compare. But I think I like the other one better. The Inky List one. Um... Moving on, another setting spray was Ciate London Everyday Vacay um, Mist. Enjoyed it again, but I don't think I'm dying to go get another one right now. Um, Ciate London is a um, a brand that I see pretty often in the subscription boxes that I, I subscribe to, so I'm sure I'll be getting another one soon. Um, another one from Blue Nutrition, another greens and superfood, um, just a different flavor. This was in Mixed Berry, again really enjoyed it. Uh, another primer that I went through, or moisturizer I should say, is this Juno & Co. Uh, Moonshine Cream. I'm sorry, Juno & Co. Moonshine Miracle Cream. Um, packaging very cute, just not practical for um, sitting well with others. Well, there she goes, all gone. Again, liked it, didn't love it. Down. 
Um, another uh, um, uh, vitamin, if you will, is this sparkle fiber capsule. Helps bloat. Liked it. Haven't repurchased it yet because I've actually I I had that used it. Then I got the bloom stuff, um, and I've been enjoying that because I like it where you can mix it into your drinks, and it also has like the superfood kind of aspect to it. So you get like not only the fiber but your greens too. Uh, another setting spray is this from Kula. This was an SPF makeup setting spray. This I had around forever and just wanted to use it up. It smells pretty good. I mean, it smells like sunscreen, but a good smelling sunscreen. Um, and had an SPF of 30 and it contained 70% of organic ingredients. And it came in a nice glass bottle. Another thing for my hair that, oh, man, took this took forever, got it in a subscription box, was this Moroccan Gold Series Treatment Mask, Intense Care for Dry and Damaged Hair. Um, because I color treat my hair, um, it tends to be damaged. This one took forever. Again, I didn't feel like I noticed much difference. I feel like my hair in general, I don't know why, maybe I just, <laughs> I don't care. Um, but. I don't really like have any products that I am absolutely in love with minus that that Christoph Robin product like I, I wouldn't say I'm in love with it but I like what it does um, is there something better maybe so another hair care product another Aveda one if you couldn't tell I go to an Aveda Institute to get my hair done because I get this my, my wisdom whiskers if you will uh covered about every five weeks and that shit is expensive so i found a um aveda institute which basically is the aveda school um and you get it your hair done for like a fraction of the price um but there is kind of like those unwritten expectations that you buy their products you don't have to but every so often i do this one is the color conserve um daily color protectant and it's supposed to intensify color radiance. I don't know. It was okay. I'm done with it. Goodness, my I'm just like picking things out and it's like avalanching on itself. Um let's see, we got this Elemis Superfood AHA Glow Cleansing Balm. Again, used this at a first cleanse, got it as subscription box. It was alright, not my favorite. Similar in look was the glow recipe papaya sorbet enzyme cleansing balm that helps makeup melting and soothing this I think I, I may have another like an extra one that I got from a subscription box in um in my stash I did like it um I, I heard on somebody else's video I can't quite remember um that this might have like microplastics in it or something like that which I'm not down for so I'll have to I'll have to look at that what was this uh, this was uh, by truly this was their cocoa cloud whipped shave butter which again I mentioned I lived in Arizona not I don't lived I currently still live in Arizona um, and I remember giving this in the month of July I think and I got it shipped to me from Ulta so this is supposed to be like a whipped kind of look where it's like really pretty. It looks like like whipped cream in, in this bottle, whatnot. Well, because it was sitting outside um, my house for like more than a second, it melted basically. So what was supposed to be like filling up this whole bottle uh, it was like melted down to this because it didn't have that whipped quality anymore. Um, a funny story, I know. Uh, this one I actually did like. This was a little bit more expensive. Um, it was. It has vanilla, coconut milk, argan oil, white tea, and vitamin E um, to boost. It was really nice. Um, maybe if it's on sale, I'd pick it up again. Who knows? Um, another Kula product that I used all the way up was this organic BB skin tint. Um, this really had no coverage. I know it looks dark, but it actually um, it. There wasn't much coverage coverage to it, but it still looked really nice. And again, had the SPF in it. Uh, this one I'm just decoloring. Um, I don't really 
I don't really like, I don't really like it. It's the e.l.f. HD powder in Luminoso or Luminance, soft luminance. Um, just don't love it. So again, don't keep things you don't love. Uh, this one was an Avant. Oh my gosh, it has such a long name. They, they all have such long names. Um, Hyaluronic, blah, 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 blah rejuvenating micellar water um so this i got in a subscription box these avant products are super super pricey and i do not think they are worth it like i want to say this cost like 120 dollars retail i would not buy it you can buy a garnier one for six dollars um not worth it but i finished it um another target purchase that i have finished is this wood elixir um number 15 i don't know if that's the brand or whatnot oh no this is this comes from the mix bar from target um so it's all these like really nice just i don't want to say they're super complex um smells but you can make them complex because you can mix them together like this one is the wood elixir it smelled really nice and musky um and you can mix that in with another one um but i i liked this on its own it's a nice perfume all right let's see we have this ola hendrickson banana bright face primer this i think started giving me a rash um i don't know if it's because it was expired or whatnot but i noticed that when i was using it it like whatever i've had this in here for so long i can't quite remember what it did but it did did something that I didn't like um so I didn't finish it all the way up but it was almost done and expired now this is a product I love this was a uh, color wow root cover-up in dark brown this baby I've had for when I lived in Ohio and I moved away in Ohio in 2016 so over five years over five years I'm sure it was expired and there's not much room for product Right there um, but this was perfect for my root cover-up my little wisdom whiskers between uh, between uh, appointments and I also really liked it to um, use as an eyebrow uh, powder I've already repurchased another one of these and it lasted for five years and it's not like I wasn't shy about using it I mean like I if I let these puppies grow they grow they grow so this was really nice uh another moisturizer I, I used a lot of moisturizers this um this go around i can't quite remember the last time i did the video i want to say it was in july so maybe it's like three months worth of products that i've just been accumulating um but anyways this is the wishful honey um balm a jelly moisturizer this one was really it smells really good it smells good um kind of a pearly little look I did enjoy this again not enough to like hurry out and go buy another one um because as you could probably tell i have a lot of moisturizers i need to get through but this one was really nice um here we go becca backlight primer um r.i.p becca they are no longer a thing except except i did see that becca is mm, i don't want to say merging I don't think that's the right word um at least one of their products the under eye corrector you know like a super popular product um like another company picked it up and it's like that company in collaboration with becca and i can't remember what that company is again it was it was another one where it's like you're surprised they're still around maybe a little rock or I can't think of it anyways if I can think of it I'll, I'll comment down below but um and that was one of the products I wanted to try but I didn't want to pick it up knowing that they were going to um be closing and then like fall in love with it um anywho long story short Becca back like primer this was good I use this as a primer I use this as a highlighter um this was a very versatile product uh, another product I got an influencer with the, was the Ceridium 
Ceramidian, whatever, Dr. Jart um, liquid toner, moisturizing toner. Got this in Influencer a long time ago, used it all up. It was okay, not my favorite. Another product that I am decluttering, another Influencer product I should say, is this Ilia um, Multi-Stick in At Last. I used it as a blush. You could use it for your lips, cheeks, and eyes. I just felt like the color um, didn't last more than like two seconds. So again, not something that I want to keep around if it doesn't do what it's supposed to. Here we go, another milk makeup product. This was their Melatonin Overnight Lip Mask. I think another influencer product that I got. Um, if you haven't done influencer, it's pretty cool. If you like reviewing products, um, getting products in the mail for you to review for free well not really for free but in in um what am i trying to say you get product for your review of it i really recommend doing influencer i can include my my information down below um anyways this is the milk makeup melatonin overnight lip mask good not great i, I mean it has melatonin but i don't think it ever really aided in uh sleeping all right a few mascaras Ilia, um, again, got this in Influencer with the other one. This, just didn't love it. The brush is kind of unique. I do enjoy a unique brush. Um, both, I don't, how many of these? Um, there's two different sizes. There's one that's more combey, and there's one that's more, uh, bristly. Just didn't love it. I think it flaked. Uh, this one I did use all the way up, the Air Volume Mega Mascara by L'Oreal. Um, I have hooded eyes, so big mascara wands make things quite difficult for me, and this one was kind of big. This one I didn't love at all. This was in my lash on my stash, the Cargo um, Boundless Lash. This flaked like a mofo. Oh, flaked right there, and it was a big wand. Don't love. Um, okay. One product I did love was this Fenty Beauty MVP Brow MVP. Um, there's nothing to show, but it's super precise tip. Um, this was a really great color. I think I got this. This was on sale. And, um with BoxyCharm. So again, they do kind of monthly sales that you can add on to your box. And I got this for like half the retail cost, if not less. This is actually supposed to be the dupe for the Fenty one. This is the next fluff and fill. Um, it is a little bit bigger tip, actually quite a bit bigger tip. Um, but liked this one too. Here was a Huda Beauty um, Silk Balm, little trial size of this. Actually really did enjoy this. Use, um, I used this to like prime the lips um, as I was like putting on complexion products before actually putting on like a lipstick or anything like that. Um, did a really great job. Not Wasn't super glossy, but more balmy. I actually think I will, I will, wheel. that was weird. <laughs> I will pick this up in a full size because I did enjoy it. Um, this is a, I've already repurchased it and it's currently in my shop, my stash. This is Gimme Brow, um, Benefit Cosmetics Gimme Brow in the shade 4.5. So it's just, it's actually what I have in my eyebrows today in conjunction with ColourPop. This, I'm just getting rid of this, um, Luma. Illuma by Image Skincare Intense Brightening Eye Cream. This actually like burns my eyes. Um, if I, you know, like I'll use it before bed, get in bed, and like I'll be watching TV and this, somehow this sucker gets in my eyes and makes it burn. Um, pick this up like after I got like a massage or something and you know they were checking out and they have all these products that they use for um, like um, this thing. <laughs> And I picked this up and I was like, oh, I'm gonna love it. And I didn't love it. Surprise. Uh, this was a little tester of Artelier Cologne in Pacific Lime. And I mean, you can't smell it, but 
kind of smells like a really citrusy perfume and I enjoyed it. And then lastly, um, I used up a bio, uh, Eco Tools Bio Blender, 100% uh, biodegradable makeup sponge. And it was a two pack. I'm currently using the other one right now and it is almost on its last leg. But I loved the idea that um, it says it's 100% certified biodegradable sponge, natural ingredients, and plantable people paper packaging. Um, I don't think I will be planting this, but I definitely will be recycling it. Um, and it was a great sponge. I liked the shape of it too. So that's all I got for you. That, that is my, the irony, my empty spin is now empty. Um, <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. Um, so please let me know down below. Have you tried these products before? Did you love them? Did you hate them? What was the last thing you used up? I really love your engagement down below. Um, if you like this type of, type of content, please consider um, subscribing and, you know, bringing the bell of notifications and, um, you know, liking the video or disliking the video, whatever your choice is. And um, I'll be seeing you guys later.